Hi, I'm Greg McHale from Greg McHale's Wild Yukon, and I'm gonna give you my three tips on proper setup and shooting in the field. And whether you're at the range or you're actually in the hunting environment, these are the three things that are, in my opinion, are the most important when taking that final shot. So the first thing that I believe is the fundamental and the foundation of it all is getting a stable platform. Wherever I can, I'm using a tripod because it's the most stable piece of equipment that I have. And then beyond that, I go to a bipod because I think the prone position is the best position to be in, in a mountain environment especially, where you can take a long shot, you wanna be stable, you wanna be as solid as you possibly can be. And that's where I believe that a tripod really shines. So that's the most important thing, is get the stable platform, get behind it, and now you can start to dial in and focus in on that animal. The number two thing for me is really building that stable platform with your body now and getting your body into a really good position that is straight behind the weapon because you want the recoil to come straight back from that weapon. You want to have the same kind of shooting position every time so that it's muscle memory. You have the same place that you're putting the butt of the gun and you settle in behind. Your cheek comes onto the comb. It comes into the same place every time and yet you want that directly in line with your gun you don't want your body off kicked off to one side if you can absolutely help it sometimes in a mountain environment it's impossible to get straight behind a gun but that goes to the setup you must find a, the best setup that you possibly can so you can position your body straight behind the gun so you can take a smooth and accurate shot which leads to number three which is trigger control I believe that when it's go time, trigger control and the positioning of that weapon is going to be the difference between a miss or a hit or possibly the worst case scenario is a wounded animal. And that's where you get behind that weapon, everything is feeling good, you've got the butt where it needs to be, you've got your cheek on the comb, you're sitting behind it, everything feels good, now it's all about a smooth, steady, squeeze of that trigger with very little pressure on your on your shooting hand because when you start to squeeze the weapon with your shooting hand you are likely to move it one way or another i barely touch the gun with my trigger hand because all i'm doing is practicing that straight back pull straight back pull and when I do that and I don't squeeze the gun, I'm not holding the gun in position with my trigger hand at all. It is merely there as support. And if I could just pull the trigger straight back, squeeze it straight back every time without touching the weapon at all, that's what I would do. So the supporting hand or the supporting tripod or bipod is where you, once you've got the setup and it's all dialed in, all it is is a straight back pull every time and you don't deviate on that those three things put together will put an animal down or if you're shooting at a target will put you on target every time those are my three best tips for getting in the field and getting it done as efficiently and as quickly as possible so i really appreciate it if you like this video hit the subscribe button hit the like and Thanks for all your support.